Alright, so before you start this video, just a little disclaimer, this will contain spoilers for A Dark Fall by Scarlet Drake, so just be aware of that. Go order it, read it, come back, we can talk in the comments. Enjoy if you've read it, and so let's talk in the comments. <laughs> So another little disclaimer because I just put the video, like all the videos together to edit it and it's an hour long. So just, this is a chaotic mess. When I do these, I am putting my thoughts together as I record. So it's just me like jumbling words and then like getting to my thought and saying what I think. So just a fair warning. I hope you enjoy though. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm Julia, and for this video, I'm going to be doing a reading vlog on the book A Dark Fall by Scarlett Drake. I read this on Wattpad a couple of years ago, and it was my favorite Wattpad book. And now she is self publishing, and she kindly sent me an ARC, and I'm so honored and I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna give you my thoughts, and um, I think they're all gonna be good. So, if you came here for anything but positivity, go away. Um, <laughs> she is, I believe, you can pre-order now, I will put the pre-order link down below, but I believe the release date is August 26th, and there's no information about the paperback because I will be ordering that as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna jump right in. This is, did I say it was a dark romance? I don't know, but it's a dark romance. I'm very excited. So I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna read, and then I'll update you when I feel the need. <laughs> so I read nothing all day, and it's now 11.45, and I just finished the prologue, which was in Jake's point of view, and it was so good. I loved it. I'm a sucker for... A male point of view um in the Wattpad version we didn't get his point of view until the second book I think and um we didn't get it in the first one at all so getting his point of view and like the start like the situation that got him to Alex which I hope that's her name I can't remember her name I think it's Alex. She hasn't said her name. But, um, like, him getting to her and then, like, him being like, I need to figure out a plan. I might keep her. I really, I really enjoyed that chapter. I love, I love male point of view. I think it's so good, especially when it's done, like, right. Like, men are fucking gross sometimes. So, like, I just think, it was written really well. I really liked that chapter. Um, and it was really nice getting the, how we got there. And like, there's a little mystery already. I know what the, I know what the answer is. So, um, I'm not going to spoil that, but it was nice. Like how she like put that in there. So yeah, I'm going to read the next chapter and then I think I'm going to go to bed. So third chapter I'm about to start chapter three and they're about to meet I'm really excited the like in romance books <laughs> when um it's like they meet for like whatever reason and then they don't see each other for however long and then they like meet each other again like this is planned like it's a planned meet like he planned this out and it I love it so I'm really excited to see how the, this meet goes like because I, I love him and he already uh, I just I do I um, he this is it's already like really different from the Wattpad version and I'm really enjoying it I I, I love it so much already can't freaking wait to, like, actually get into their relationship, like, for them to, like, start seeing each other and, like, catching the feels. Can't wait for that to happen. And I hope <coughs> my voice keeps cracking. I'm sorry. It sounds like I'm 
prepubescent boy. But anyway, I hope we get more Jake uh, point of view. I don't think we're going to. I think it's only going to be like the prologue. But um, it would be super cool. But I don't think it's going to happen because of the secret. So. I'm a little disappointed. But. It's fine. <laughs> so yesterday I read chapter 3. And it was really good. They met like their second meet. And he like invited her to his new club. And they made out. And it was great. And um, I really love them. I usually don't like, like, insta-love, but this doesn't really feel like insta-love, like, it feels like more of, like, a pull, like, she's kind of, like, attracted to him, it feels more kind of, like, lust love, like, insta-lust type thing, and, um, I guess I like that more than insta-love, because she is trying to, like, she's trying to, like, talk herself out of it, <laughs> which is funny, but, um, I'm liking it. I just read chapter four and he was a possessive asshole and he had no right to be and she was very like not happening and I loved that as well so I'm loving it I don't know if it's like loving me loving it because of like I don't think it's nostalgia but like reading something over again and just like just because you know that you love it and you know that you love the character and just like getting to know them again and like reading it in a new way and like I'm older now and it's you know do you get what I'm saying but anyway I just I'm like determined to finish this because I want to read it like there's nothing wrong with it there's just something wrong with me currently and um I just haven't had any motivation to read, which is unfortunate because I'm really liking this. So I'm gonna read chapter five. It's 1143, 40, yeah, ooh, I said that right. Um, it's 1143, I'm gonna read, I think chapter five and six and just try to get some done because we go camping on Sunday. It is currently Thursday night. And then, um, Friday and Saturday, and I have to pack and stuff. I actually don't know how many pages this is, because there's no page numbers. Um, I don't know if that's because it's an arc, or if it's just, like, a Kindle thing. Like, sometimes there's page numbers, and sometimes there isn't. So, I don't know. I've been talking about it for a long time. <sighs> anyway, I just I want to finish this and post it before we go camping. So I have, like two, three days, not even two days. I have two days, which I can do if I try really hard. <laughs> so I'm going to read chapter five and six and then maybe seven. I don't know, depending on where I'm at. And then I'll update you and then I'll go back. Okay, so I read chapter five and I really love her dad and her family and her brother. I just like the dynamic. It seemed really sweet. Um, I wanted to say something and I can't remember what I wanted to say. It was about Jake. I hate it when that happens. I wanted to say something about chapter four or something. Or three. Dude, I hate it when this happens. I was like, I need to talk about that. But, yeah, that chapter was sweet. I'm gonna go to sleep. That rhymed. Um, Jake. God, what did I want to say about Jake? Oh, his whole possessiveness. Like... I did mention, I was like, that's hot. But, like, I feel like it's only hot in books. That's what I wanted to say, I think. Like, if that ever happened in real life, would you not run for the freaking hills? Like, if a dude sent you an invitation to his new club, like, kind of, like, stalked you <laughs> and then invited you to his club and then, like, kicked out a dude because you were making out with him. Is that not weird? It is. Is it hot in a book? Yes. Is it weird in real life? Yes. And this is just my take. Um, but I do like, Alex seems like a very, she's strange. I didn't get it. This was also what I wanted to talk about. Um, she seems very like 
strong-willed in certain sense in a certain way and then very kind of like not naive but like I can't think of the word but like so for instance she was dancing she like made out with Jake and she was like wow this is great love this I don't know if I like that I'm doing it so quickly but I like him like I think he's hot like I'm attracted to him whatever and then she was like I have to go and she went down to the club and she started dancing with this dude and he kissed her and she was like I was trying I was about to push him away and then his weight disappeared off my body and she like ran after him and was like because they were like taking him out of the club rightfully so because he did like kiss her without asking and then like she was like she was giving off the cues that she didn't want it and she was like felt bad for him getting kicked out which like I understand because that's like a it's a thing that women do is like we feel bad when men do shitty things and they get the consequence um but Jake was also an asshole about it but like she didn't she had like this backbone with Jake after he kicked that dude out and she was like yeah I like he was like I want to see you again and she was like I don't want to see you again it's not gonna happen because he's like some bad boy but like she had zero backbone with the dude that she was dancing with so I'm kind of confused I don't know if it's like just Jake and she's like trying to be like push him away because she doesn't know how she's feeling or if that's just like how she is like she doesn't know how to handle men I don't know I don't know the vibe that I'm getting she seems very strong-willed at times and then sometimes I guess that's everybody I do that sometimes I'm like I'll have like the confidence of like a lion and then other times I'm like a freaking turtle in my shell so I guess it makes sense I don't know I'm gonna go to sleep because <laughs> I'm just gibberish right now um but I will read tomorrow hopefully and finish it and then I'll be up soon so I think I read three chapters I read absolutely nothing today I'm doing so well I'm definitely not gonna finish this before I go camping but whatever um chapter six or seven seven um nothing really happened some dude asked her out and then oh no something did happen I think he's stalking her like most definitely like and it's slightly creepy but um <laughs> yeah so he asked her out but like he I don't know it could be very well that they go to the same cafe but like she lives in the freaking country there's no way he totally like was like I wonder if I'll see her here and then went to that cafe and um asked her out and then she was like oh shit I double booked myself because Sam one of the doctors that she works with asked her out on the same night and so she canceled on Jake and then Sam and her went out to eat and she got drunk off of cider and then he took her home and he kissed her without asking like this girl just keeps getting kissed without like with no consent like she's not given any consent to any of the guys that have kissed her including jake and that dude matt and like guess who saw the kiss jake because he's stalking her <laughs> and like it's and she does call him out on his shit but like he like completely disregards her feelings and i hate that in books i'm just not a thing that I'm there for and like and then she's like dude that was like because she's like <laughs> she goes off because he's being a dick and she's like literally we've met like three times and you can't come here and be angry at me for this and then he called her a name and it was really messed up and she's like you can't do that like that's not allowed like we hardly know each other and he goes I was wrong 
And she's like, what? And he's like, I was wrong. You're not just beautiful when you're angry. You're so sexy. It's like, dude, this is not the time. She's like... <laughs> and, it's not, and then he, like, goes into her house with no invitation. And when she tries to, like, call someone, he takes the phone like, away, like, he doesn't take it from her, but, like, he makes it so she can't take it, so, like, sketch vibes, you know, but, like, I know that I'm gonna be in love with him by the end of the book, because I love this book, but that's where we're at, and then, (sighs) I think he tries to grab her, like, she, like, tries to kick him out of the house, and he grabs her somehow, hold on, let me, let me look, but she, like, breaks his nose and it's really like honestly the best instant karma he like tries to like calm her down when she has like literally every right to be upset with him and um he grabs a hold of me but he reaches out to grab a hold of me turning me to face him so he has her and then she's like trying to like let go make him like let go so like she's jerking away from him and um he, when she tries to free her arm again, he lets go, and she, like, I don't know if, like, her hand, like, whips back and, like, hits him in the face, or, like, her head does, I don't know what happens, but he ends up with a bloody nose, and it's great, but, um, it's, I'm, I'm tired, I'm gonna go to sleep now, I read three chapters, though, which is, um, more than I've read all week, I am, enjoying this though like he definitely feels like he's like insta love it feels i don't like it but she seems shouldn't seem insta love she seems like she kind of wants to sleep with him and get it over with and then obviously they're gonna fall in love but like that's where she's at i don't know where he's at because unfortunately we're not getting his point of view other than the prologue, and I wish that we were getting his point of view. Like, I wish that it was, like, a back and forth. So, that's it. I'm gonna go to sleep. I talk too much, um, but hopefully I can finish this tomorrow and then edit this. I'm giving myself, um, zero time. (laughs) So, yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Bye! Hi, so I finished chapter 11, and I think I'm I'm obviously on chapter 12 now, but they slept together. It was great. Um, Right after they got into an argument, which I think is always, like, like makeup sex. I don't even know if it was makeup sex, but it was hot. And I, yeah. So, but I do want to talk about Alex for a second, because the gall of this woman, like, she, like, she's so timid. And that's where that I was looking for earlier when I was, like, she was so, like, um, with the Matt dude, like, she, like, didn't want to push him away. But, like, with Jake, she's, like, I want to kill you. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but I like that she does that with him. Like, she's, like, not scared of him, which I'm sure is nice for him because he's an asshole. But, um, her going out on a date with, uh, Sam... And then coming home and... (laughs) Like, what a woman. I don't know if I should be proud of her, if I should be judging her. But I'm kind of proud of her. Because, like, I know she didn't want... She didn't want to go on a date with Sam. She didn't want to do that. But she did it anyway. Because she was, like, trying to fight the feelings for Jake. But... (sighs) They slept together. And then she was like... I don't know if, like... I'm not usually a one-night stand person. And you know damn well this is not going to be a one-night stand. Like, this is, like, their end game. But I really liked that chapter. Um, I do wish, which we're not going to get, but I do wish that we had Jake's point of view. But, um, you know, not everyone writes dual point of view, and that's okay. I do miss it when it's not written like that, but, um... Yeah, so far so good. I'm liking it. I highly doubt I'm going to finish this today. I have, like, I don't know. I could, but I have to go to a grad party. So I read, like, four chapters before I got out of bed. And we're going camping, and I am I 
will have Wi-Fi, like I'd have to go to the camp store, but I don't know if I want to do that. Maybe on a rainy day, but I don't know if there's going to be any rainy days. Hopefully there's not. Anyway, I'm babbling. I'm going to read and then maybe I should read on the car ride. Ignore my mom. Um, but yeah, that's my update. Um, I know this is like, I'm not done talking. This is like totally like the possessive asshole type romance. And sometimes I love them and sometimes I hate them. Currently, I'm loving it. Is it annoying that he did that? Yes. But I know that like, when he was like, you're confusing me. I was like, same, Jake. She's confusing me and I'm in her head. So I am really liking this. I love it. I love Jake. And I know that like once they like start like actually like confirm dating, I'm gonna love them even more. So yeah, that's it for now. Um, see you in the next update. Okay, so I just wanted to update really fast. I just got to the campsite, and um, last night I think I read two chapters, and they went on their date, and it was really sweet. The only issue that I had was with Alex, and she was, like, asking him questions that he, she, like, clearly knew that he did not want to talk about certain things, and she kept grilling him, and I thought it was kind of messed up. But, um, he asked, he answered, um, but I really enjoyed that chapter. I thought it was sweet. Um, I thought Jake was really sweet, taking her to dinner and stuff and, like, trying to impress her. I thought it was a cute chapter, them going on the date. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I've read and that's all I have to update on. But the car ride was, it was awful. I hated it. Everything. And all my dog's freaking out because we're here, but my mom's not here yet, so I can't get to the site. So I'm like sitting at in the parking lot of their camp store where like visitors come to like play at the beach and stuff. So there's my dog. Can you see him? No. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you can. So yeah, hopefully tomorrow I'll read or tonight I'll read. Um, I don't know if I'll update you because we have a pop-up camper and I don't want people to hear me talking so see you then bye I just want to add really fast that Alex did apologize for making him answer questions about his childhood after he was clearly uncomfortable answering the questions like being asked and I thought that was really messed up from like coming from someone who hasn't who did not have the greatest childhood like, why, why would you, why are you gonna push somebody? Like, I just thought that was rude. And then she was like, I am so sorry that I made you answer that. And it was like, he clearly was uncomfortable. Like, you're a doctor. You should be able to read the signs. You know what I mean? Like, she just pissed me off. And he was so, he was being so sweet. It was like the one time he wasn't being like a possessive ass. And she was an idiot. So, I just wanted, she, like, she did apologize, but, like, doesn't mean anything, I guess. But it was, like, a, you're an idiot. Like, you shouldn't have had him, like, he was, you clearly, you could clearly tell he was uncomfortable and that you, yeah, you pushed him. I just didn't like her at that point. But I loved Jake. This is the time where I fall in love with him. <laughs> Good morning. So, um, this is the first time I've had, like, second alone to like update you guys and not be embarrassed um <laughs> by my family like listening <laughs> so um i'm currently on chapter i think 22 or something um i just finished chapter 21 nothing's really happened i've just been in kind of like a blissful like relationship like honeymoon type phase um and I've been loving it. Um, the only thing that really happened is um, she, Alex went over to Jake's and they got into like a tiny argument because she makes like side comments about him like sleeping with a lot of women. 
and um, he was like, I find it ironic since every time I've seen you, like, I've seen you with a different man because Alex's ex, Ben, popped up at like a seminar because they're both doctors and then she lied to him about it so can't wait for that to bite her in the ass um but yeah I like something I like in books and I always say this is that when authors make their characters like self aware of things um so like right now like Alex is kind of like I think it's crazy that I'm falling for him so fast and like am I or is this just like like what is this so um yeah I'm liking this um I haven't gotten anything like any reading done and I'm kind of disappointed like I wish I would be done by this this is um we got here Sunday it's currently Wednesday and I've only read like 10% Oh. But hopefully I read some more today. See you then. This little thing, like what I have to deal with. Camping with dogs. Oh, you guys are gonna stop? No, don't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't eat that, Wyatt. Wyatt. Ow! Don't eat his leash. Where you roll? Hey, Riot, no. No, we don't eat that. He's such a little shit. He bites me and it hurts so bad. Get him, Kennedy. Don't let him, don't let him disrespect you like that, biting your butt. Quiet, here. Hi, so I'm home for like three seconds before my sister Kim had a baby and we drive like three, four hours to go camping and she needed someone to drive home with her to wash the baby in the back seat. So now I have to drive back up with my other sister so it's been a day of driving, I haven't read a thing, but last night I did read um, a chapter. I said this earlier, but people, men in Alex's life seem to not care about what she says. I'm gonna see what chapter I'm on. But completely like disregard everything that she says. Like uh, I'm on chapter 23. Ben, her ex, he they spoke at that little conference thing, which I mentioned. And he was like, we have so much to talk about. And she was like, nah, there's nothing to talk about. She lied to Jake saying that, I think I mentioned this, but she lied to Jake saying that it was a friend and it was her ex. So Ben showed up to this woman's house, showed up to her house and while she was in the bath and he was like, we have a lot to talk about. And she was like, dude, get the fuck out. And he was like, nah, we're gonna talk. <laughs> And she was like, she, instead of calling the police, she spoke to him. His ass would have been stabbed. I would have stabbed him. Get out of my house. This is no longer your house. We don't live together anymore. Get out. I don't know. It's just, Alex is weird to me. Like, her whole, like, standing up. Like, she, like, did, I feel like she stood up against Ben. But... Not in the way that she should have. Like, she... I don't know what it is about her. And, like, she only does certain things. And then, like, Jake showed up. Showed up. And she, like, didn't... He was an ass. I can't remember exactly what he said. But he was, like, rightfully angry at her that she lied about Ben. But then he got all, like, possessive. And understandably. But also... What the heck? Like... I don't know, it was weird. Like, she didn't ask Ben to watch her in the bath. And he was, like, angry. He was, like, understandably angry, but, like, he... 
it was weird. It was a weird situation. And he was like, why does he still have a key? It's like, is that what you're really angry about right now? Like that he, I just, it didn't under, I didn't get it. But anyway, he, what was I saying? What was I talking about? <laughs> um, oh, Alex, she like, instead of after Jake was kind of a jerk to her, instead of going, dude, you need to leave, like, we need a night apart or whatever, she was like, I'm going to bed. His ass would have been out too. Like, I don't understand her letting people disrespect her and then letting them stay. Like, we're not, we're not here to talk. Like, you don't need to be talking to me, Ben. And then Jake being an ass also doesn't need to be happening. Like, it's her, like, standing up for herself I think is weird. I don't know. I don't understand why. Like, she seems very timid at times with some people. And then she seems very strong-willed at times. And it's always at different times. I don't know why my glasses are doing that. Um, but she seems definitely more strong-willed with Jake than anyone and I guess is good because they're in a relationship now, but I feel like she should have been more strong-willed with Ben in that situation because he literally broke into her house. So, um, I'm on chapter 23. I'm 63% in. Hopefully I'll finish this. I brought like 15 books for a 10-day camping trip and there's seven days left. So <laughs> it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen, but, um, Hopefully I can, like, sit and read now. I don't know. It's kind of tough because um, where we camp, it's in loops. So, like, I don't know how to explain it. I'll put it like a map, maybe. Uh, and so, like, in w my grandparents are in one loop over here, and then my mom and I are in a loop over here. So we're, like, walking back and forth, and it's it's really difficult to just kind of, like, sit and read when you don't know I don't know where I should do it like should I sit at my campsite and read so I'm not bothered or should I sit over there and read and like just sit with my grandparents I don't know what to do so I haven't read anything and then when we're on the beach we haven't really like laid out or done anything so yeah that's it I'm gonna hopefully I'll I'm not gonna be able to read on the car ride because I have another niece who I'm driving with and this is a long day. It's a long day of driving. I've been talking for five minutes, but yeah, that's it. Um, I still, I like Jake. I don't know. I like Jake. I feel like he is like angry about the right things, but in the wrong way. And also, what, oh, what else did I want to say? I wanted to say something else. Oh, she was like, are you going to be like honest with me? And he was like, I don't know. So that's another thing. Like he is very, I think I do like Jake, but he, d his walls are very up and you can totally tell what the mystery is. Um, so yeah, the mystery, I don't know if I should say it or not. I know it already, but like, it is kind of obvious what it is like with the truck in the back seat and there was something else I can't remember, but then he was like, don't go in that room. Okay, Jake. So yeah, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> See you in the next update. So I just wanna say really fast because it sounds to me anyway, like in the last clip, like that I was like annoyed that I had to hang out with my nieces and my sisters and that is not the case at all. I absolutely love my nieces and my sisters and I loved hanging out with them. I do not regret it. Um, I just wanted to sit down and I didn't get to do that. I would rather hang out with them than sit on the beach and read, but it at times felt very unrelaxing. <laughs> okay, so the secret's out. Um, Jake has a baby. I feel like that was kind of easy to figure out if you like kind of took in the clues of like, the, like I think I said there was like a toy truck and he was leaving at night and things like that like um there is still like a huge mystery of like what he does like he's obviously a 
nightclub owner, but what was he doing before that? Um, we met Vicky, baby mama, and um, she was awful. So there was that. Not much happened other than like, yeah, I mean, I guess it, a lot did happen. He went to dinner. I can't remember the last time I updated you guys. It's been like a day or two, but um, he went to dinner at Rob's with Alex. Rob is Alex's best friend. I don't think I mentioned that. And he met all of her friends and he was very happy. She was very happy about it. He did a pretty good job except for she's friends with a detective. And um, I know why he's uncomfortable, but it's not out in the story yet, so I'm not gonna say. <laughs> but um, it was good. I like, I like this writing. I like the way that it's being done because I this isn't like insta love per se, but it's been like five weeks and like one of those, they had no, they weren't speaking, they didn't see each other. He like had to like seek her out to get her to the club. And I think that was like a week or so later after he got stabbed in the neck. So it kind of is insta love, but it's not. I like the way that it's being written and how she's kind of like, yo, this is crazy. Am I actually in love with him? Um. They had a conversation, he finally, like, he's been keeping a lot of secrets. I like, I said this before, like, I like when authors make their characters self-aware of what's going on. So, like, him being like, Alex, you need to open up to me, like, you need to tell me things, blah, blah, blah. And him not opening up to her about absolutely anything. Like, the only thing that he's given to her personally is his childhood on their first date. So she, when they had their conversation about like him finally telling her about Caleb, his son and Vicky was because she was like, you were backed into a wall. Like you definitely would not have told me. Like you had so many chances to tell me and you didn't. And he was like, yeah, you're right. Like I just, I'm a coward. And he still won't open up to her about why he was uncomfortable at dinner. Cause she was like something happened at dinner and you're not telling me and they i don't even know if they broke up because she was like jake you need to let me go and he was like no please don't go um but yeah i love this i'm loving it i really am it's taking me a long time because i feel like i've been like so busy doing like things camping like trying not to just like be lazy i hate it when my hair does that but so far I'm now 80% in. I think it's, it says I have two hours and seven minutes left. So, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm excited, like this is one of those books that like I wanna savor, but I'm also very excited to finish because it's taken me so long. So, and I feel like that is also the worst because I can't remember what's happened sometimes when I try to like update and like how I'm feeling. But I'm really enjoying the writing so far, I don't think there's really been any, like, character development with Jake, but I do feel like there has been <clears throat> with Alex, um, especially about, like, her relationships. Like, when she went to the door and saw Vicky, she was like, no, no message, and then she was walking away, and then she was like, no, I'm not doing this again. Like, with Ben, I'm not gonna, like, walk away and not confront him. Like, I'm about to kick his ass. And then he wasn't there, so it was kind of disappointing. I wish he was there. That would've been good. But, um, oh, I don't know. He's really weird. Like, he keeps saying, like, I want to respect, like, I'm sorry and all that stuff. But, like, he continues to, like, not listen to her and, like, disregard what she's saying. Like, she'll be like, no, like, I don't want to talk to you right now. Because she saw Vicky and he was like, well, I'm just gonna sit at your house. Dude, why? Leave the girl alone. Let her think. Let her have a minute. You know, let her process things. And then come talk to her if she wants to talk to you. You know, like, you can be like, hey, this isn't, like, mm, this isn't what it looks like, which is a really dumb excuse, but, like, it really wasn't. But, um, like, he didn't give her any time, which I thought was annoying. So. And then he was like, I'm sorry, and she like calls him out on it too, which I enjoy. Like he was like, 
if you want me to take you home, I will. And he, she was like, well, five minutes ago when I didn't want to get in the car, you didn't say that. Like, you were going to throw me over your shoulder. And he was like, yeah, that was messed up. So, I'm loving this. I'm loving Jake. I'm loving Alex. I know Jake is an ass, but, like, I think he's, he's like a good ass. A good asshole, I, which... I think hopefully this is the second one. I know there's a second one. There were there was a second one on Wattpad, so I'm excited for the second one already. So yeah, I'm 80% in. I'm gonna go to the beach and read because I've been reading in here and I wanted to update before I went out. And then if something else happens, I'll update again. But um probably not for a while. I've been talking for six minutes. I don't know how I do this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go read and then maybe possibly update you before the end or probably at the end depending on what happens I'm home So we got back home on Tuesday evening around 6 and then I tripped out of my front door and I scraped up my knee really bad and um, It is on Thursday morning. I haven't read a thing um, I read two chapters while we were while I was camping um, which Alex went out to dinner with Rob and they had a conversation kind of she was like trying to like hide the fact that she was like having an issue with Jake and um but obviously she didn't hide it very well and then she cried to Rob and Rob was like people have secrets Alex and I was like not about a secret child like maybe like about like a foot fetish or something I don't know why my first thought was foot fetish <laughs> but like not like a whole ass kid so foot fetish is kind of far like some people some, like yeah I get it like some people have secrets but like hiding a whole child from someone I feel like is not okay I understand what Rob was trying to do and like get her to like be okay like yeah he kept it a secret like but also I feel like they've only been together they've been together for less than two months like I think it's only been like five or six weeks and one of those weeks they had no contact so I'm kind of I don't know I feel like it's okay but also at the same time they did get really serious really fast I'm like why wouldn't he tell her so I don't know how to, I don't know how I feel I, I I do know how I feel it was fucked up like he definitely could not he could have told her he should not have kept that a secret and it's not, like, a tiny secret. Like, that is a huge secret. Um, and it kind of all leads back to, like, him trusting her. And, um, her being like, why don't you want to tell me anything? So, it, it's a whole thing. Um, and then she called him and they slept together. Because they, they, like, rarely talk about things. They do, eventually, like, the whole conversation when she was drunk after her brother's party. I can't remember if I talked about it. I did talk about that, but that was, like, the first, like, real conversation that they've had, like, kind of, like, as, like, a character development, like, relationship development. And I really liked that conversation, so... I'm going to read now, read the next chapter, and see if they talk after they slept together. I think they do, but I'll let you know. <laughs> Ow! I can't read. I'm trying. That's my finger. That's not a toy. I think I've read, like, three pa three pages. <gasps> Ow! Stop! You're gonna go in your cage. You need to calm down. You need a nap. Okay, so it's the next day. And, um... It's also 11 o'clock or something. I have been procrastinating reading because that's just what I do best. Um, and I told myself, I was like, I'm not gonna shower until I finish this book because I shower at night. Anyway, this is irrelevant to the story. So I'm reading it. I have like two chapters left, I think, maybe a chapter and an epilogue, I can't remember, but um, I'm reading it, and Mark, the detective dude who was a douchebag at dinner, has come to her house, and he's like, listen, here's an envelope of 
from Jake's criminal history. And so, like, obviously he was, he recognized him and he's, like, there to warn Alex. Now, do I get it? Yes, I do. But also at the same time, I feel like he's not doing it out of, like, the goodness of his heart. He's trying to, like, sabotage it because he likes her, but also not relevant. That was, those were just my thoughts. So, he's about to leave, and he's like, the most recent thing that we have on him is the assault of a woman. Like, assault and battery, and, like, we believe she was also also sexually assaulted. And he was like, do you know the name Freddie? And she was like, no. And I can't remember, but I think Freddie, like, I for sure know that Freddie is the dude from Jake's point of view in the prologue. Freddie is not the dude from the prologue. I was not for sure about that. Eddie is the dude from the prologue. And um, his wife was sexually assaulted and, like, beaten up. Um, like, broken ribs. Um, I'm on the next page, so I can't tell you. Hold on. Uh, broken arms, broken ribs, and a fractured jaw. Shit, ow. Um, and they believe that she was sexually assaulted, like I said. So, when I read this on Wattpad, I was like, oh my god, that's really fucked up. And I couldn't, like, I didn't know if it was Jake or not. But my dumbass, having now read this again, it was totally Kevin. <laughs> Kevin did it and is, like, framing Jake because Jake used to sleep with the wife. 23-year-old me is a genius. <laughs> I don't know why that never that didn't click five, six years ago when I read this. But it's clicking now. And I'm amazed and I'm mad at myself that it never clicked. Because I was like, the entire second book when I was reading it, I was like, that's terrible. I would never... Because I know that he denies it. He comes over and he denies it. He's like, that was not me. And she's like, I just don't know what to believe. So, it was totally Kevin. And he's an asshole. Kevin is like, full-fledged, like, psychopath. Thinking about the second book, he gets even crazier because he's more of a character in that book. So, I just feel really smart <laughs> figuring that out. Um... So, yeah, if you were an idiot like me, and you didn't know that, now you do. You're welcome. I'm going to finish it now, though, because I have 10% left. And um, I'm home alone for the evening. My mom's at a wedding, so and she's not coming back until tomorrow. And I can just sit here and read and not be bothered. All the dogs are sleeping. And... I can just read and then shower and then go to sleep and then I can edit and post this tomorrow. Finally. <laughs> so I realize now why I was an idiot when I read this on Wattpad and it's because the prologue in Jake's point of view I don't think was in the Wattpad version. So we didn't know what happened at the house. So, having the prologue gives some clarity, or it gives clarity, not some, like, what happened, and when he says, like, cause she's like, um, what, may, what makes you think I let them get away with it, like, threatening Caleb, his son, and, like, we know that he beat the shit out of the Freddy dude, and then his wife stabbed Jake. And so, we don't know what happens after that. Like, we know that they go to separate hospitals, but that was not in the Wattpad version. So, that's why I was an idiot. I was like, God, I'm stupid, but I'm not actually that stupid. <laughs> so, I just want to clarify because I feel like I never say things in, like, a way that it makes sense to other people. Um... When reading the Wattpad version, 
I was skeptical that Jake did it. I didn't know for sure, but I also didn't want to believe it. And reading this, I know for a fact that Jake did not do it. I hope that makes more sense. <laughs> I finished it. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. I was going to shower. I'm not going to shower anymore. I'm really tired. <laughs> but I finished it, and I really enjoyed it. Um, so Mark is an ass. Like, he totally did that for himself because he likes Alex and he just wanted Jake out of the picture. <sighs> um, I'm trying to think of, like, what happened. So they had a fight, clearly, about, like, what was in the envelope that she didn't read. But, like, everything that Mark told her, like, about the rape and the assault and, um... She kind of, like, came to her own conclusion about what Jake did slash does for a living. And she was, like, asking him all of the right questions. And he was kind of reluctant to answer, but, like, he answered. Um, and it was, like, a conversation of, like, would he have told her if he, like, he was totally backed into a corner. And, like, would he have told her eventually? Here's my thing about this, is, like, I feel like he should have told her. Because, like, if you're gonna, like, tell someone you love someone, like, you should at least tell them what you do for a living. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess he did, because he works, he owns the nightclub, but he also, like, has, like, it's like a side hustle now, but it was his job. Anyway... My thing is that he should have told her, but at the same time, this is, like, less than two months. Them knowing each other. Two of, like, the six or seven weeks, I think. Two of them, the first week, they have no, like, she fixes him and then she shows up, the, at, shows up at the club. And they, like, they start their relationship. And then she finds out about Caleb, which is, like, five weeks. And so week six is them being, like, broken up. So <laughs> they've been together for, like, four weeks. Fully and like how do you really get to know somebody in four weeks? How like cuz like the whole trust thing I never would trust somebody in four weeks Especially with a secret like that. So like I completely understand him not telling her about his drug dealing But like I didn't understand why he didn't tell her about Caleb so like him not telling her, I understand. Her being upset, I understand. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword because I get it on both sides. But, like, it's kind of tough. <laughs> so, I don't know. And then I really enjoyed the epilogue. I really liked getting Jake's point of view. Um... Like I said in the beginning, I can't remember if I mentioned this, but like I wanted Jake's point of view, but now that the book is over, I understood why we don't get Jake's point of view with the whole like him having secrets and stuff. And like, we are also supposed to be in the dark along with Alex. <sighs> sometimes I don't necessarily like that. Like sometimes I want to be in on the secret and then other times I don't want to be in on the secret. Like, um... Hideaway by Penelope Douglas, for example, like, this is a spoiler, or I guess not, because it's not really a secret, but, um, in Hideaway, we don't know that Damon has a sister, Banks, and when we are in her point of view, we find out that she's a, his sister, and I personally think that it would have been it would have been more of a shock if we would have found out 
later in the book. So I feel like there are certain times when it's good to be left in the dark and then there are other times when it's kind of like pointless to be left in the dark. I think this was good. But I also, <laughs> like, I wanted Jay's point of view. And that's, like, personal preference. Some people might read this and be like, I loved that we didn't have Jake's point of view. And I loved that we didn't know what was going on. Like, we were, where is he going? What is he doing? But we also think that his secrets are Caleb. So, like, when he's like, oh, I can't, it's about Caleb. And that most likely was not the case 100% of the time. So I really like how that was done. I really enjoyed this writing. <sighs> um, The only thing that I didn't like, I don't even know if it's, I don't think it's necessarily insta-love because <clears throat> it wasn't like they were telling each other that they love each other on page 10. It took them, I think, like 85% of the book to tell each other that they love each other. So I did like that, but it did also feel kind of like insta-love lust type thing, which is not my cup of tea. But um, it is also nice to read on occasion, not slow burn, because sometimes I feel like slow burn is too slow burn. But I think the way that she did the way that she wrote the insta love, I thought it was really well done because it is drawn out in a different way. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm talking in gibberish because I'm so tired. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Kevin's a dick. Um, I'm trying to think of like, I think I'm going to do like a full like review tomorrow like to put it at the end um yeah I, maybe not because I think I'm saying everything now but I also want to say I think not that this was this book was necessarily like a filler because I think a lot of things happened but I do think that because there's so much secrecy that it's setting up the second book so if you read this and you're like, I hated it, which I don't think you will. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it took me forever. But um, I think the thing is, is that like, it's setting up what happens at the end, the epilogue, like the last line, um, and Jake's decision <sighs> after he and Alex like break up for good. His decision makes sense to further the second book that took me a second to get there but so like it's not I it's not a filler book I really enjoyed it I think a lot of things happened and I think the characters the development was good for the time frame so it makes sense is this making it am I talking in gibberish um, it makes sense. And I liked it. So. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh my god, I need to go to sleep. Oh, it's not a filler. God. <laughs> um. But I can understand why people would think it was. So, it is setting up a lot for the second book, especially the last line. I said that, and I just wanted to, just, like, needed to get it into my thoughts. Um, that was my dog. <sighs> so I think that's it. Um, I'm really excited for the second one. I can't wait because... And I can't wait for the paperback. I'm totally going to order the paperback. Um, it was... So it was really good. I think I, I'll give it four stars because I just think that, like, the whole fastness of the relationship is the thing that gets me. It's not my favorite thing. Um, and 
even though I think that it was done well and it was drawn out well and it was written well, it's still, like, I still think about it and I go, it's literally only been six weeks. <laughs> like, y'all are moving fast and y'all are putting a lot. And, like, I think it was also done well at the end when they're talking about it and she's like, I literally know you. I don't know you at all. And it makes complete sense when she says that because he is being so secretive and he's not telling her everything. And then this dude comes and he's like, look at this file. He's a criminal. Like, what is she meant to believe? So, like, I understand her decision. And I think it, I think it was written well. I just still don't like the, the insta love because I still think about, like, the time frame and stuff. So... <sighs> yeah that's it thank you for watching i've been talking for far too long um i will probably jump in you'll probably see it um but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed um read it it's out now i can it's currently the 28th it came out the 26th and um fall in love with jake and alex with me um, thank you to Scarlett Drake for sending me an arc. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and all that jazz. All of my social medias will be linked down below if you want to follow those. I would really appreciate it. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Also, just really fast, um... I want to talk about the cover. I don't think I talked about this, but the cover. I usually absolutely despise men on the cover. I think they're just, yeah, I don't like it. I don't really like people on covers. But the first time I saw this cover, I didn't even realize there was a person on it. So I just wanted to mention that I think the cover art is just so subtle and so beautiful. I really like this cover. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Hello. Also, just want to pop in again and say that I wish there was more of Alex's mom and dad and her brother. More her dad and her brother than her mom. Um, sometimes I feel like there's not enough of certain side characters. And then sometimes I feel like there's too much of certain side characters in books. This, I felt like there wasn't enough of her dad and her brother and her mom. And I understand why. Because, like, she obviously isn't going to talk to her mom and her dad about the issues that she's going through with Jake. But I didn't really particularly like Rob. So I wanted her to talk to her brother and her dad and her mom. And I did, we didn't get that. But that was just another, like, personal preference thing.